When I first set my eyes on the stylish Boss Rush game Fury, I was sold by its striking presentation and excited about its mix of twin-stick shooting and swordplay, two of my favorite forms of combat in games. Fury pits you against just under a dozen bosses, most of whom are relentless, strong, and fast. They don't just have one health bar, they have multiple, each one representing a new and more challenging phase of combat. Armed with an energy pistol, a sword, and the ability to dash, you have to fight bosses that turn invisible, bosses that automatically generate protective barriers, and bosses that emit dense and chaotic waves of bullets. Most stages are small, circular arenas, but there are other locations that bend the rules, introducing a web of platforms or shifting to a 2D plane. Variety aside, few battle stages are memorable, but the landscapes you trot across between battles leave an unmistakable impression. They are barren, weird, and coated in neon, presented through dramatic and occasionally unsettling camera angles. Fury is a beautiful game, one upping itself from one scene to the next. But there are times when your surreal hikes overstay their welcome, and your thirst for combat breeds temporary impatience. Cutscenes can't match the thrill of fighting. Battles encompass two types of fighting, free roaming in an arena and close quarters within a small circular boundary. While free roaming, you play Fury like a twin-stick shooter, where the direction of your movement is independent from the trajectory of your gun's bullets. Though your gun allows you to attack enemies from afar, they are only vulnerable at certain times, often in the middle of an action that ultimately produces an attack you have to avoid, or if you're quick enough with your sword, deflect back. So you fire your gun and dance out of harm's way. But when a boss rushes up for a melee attack, you only have two options. Dash away, or try to parry their attack. Dash and you may be safe, but you're doing yourself a disservice. To succeed at Fury is to master the art of parrying. And anything less will almost certainly guarantee failure in later stages. Before an enemy issues a parryable attack, they will flash for an instant. Logic tells you that you should press the parry button during the flash, but in practice, the timing feels somewhat loose. No one said this was supposed to be fair, said one of my nemeses. She was right, and there were times that I felt Fury was unfair, times when I needed an excuse for failure. Despite being difficult, Fury gives you all the tools you need to succeed from the very beginning, and while the odds are in the favor of your opponents, it's the point. They don't call them bosses for nothing. Though the pace and rhythm of each boss's melee attacks change, when you establish a subconscious alignment with Fury's timing, you feel at home in combat. Without that skill, success is nigh impossible. To enjoy Fury is to understand it, a process that may involve repeated failure and in turn frustration. However, once you attain the ability to deflect attacks and punish your opponent with confidence, any feeling that Fury's bosses are unfair just disappears. Upon completing the game, a bumpy process that took almost 10 hours, I felt accomplished, but I didn't feel like my work was finished. I couldn't help but start the game over. I had improved both in terms of skill and knowledge. I knew how each boss behaved and how to counter their most punishing attacks. My second time through the game, I had the advantage, and with my newfound confidence, I was an efficient killer, not desperate prey, and I beat the game in just over two hours without dying. Despite having seen it all before, Fury transformed as I had transformed, and what was once too difficult felt just right. Fury is a beautiful game, and one that lures you in with a cool lead character and a powerful soundtrack. These qualities are easy to appreciate, but it's the journey to become a better fighter that defines the experience. Fury will make you sweat under pressure, scream in frustration, but it will also give you the drive to get better, to become a boss of your own. Once you do, there's almost no feeling like it.